on your webs, I mean. So despite being revealed, you can still kind of fog um, to some degree. Easy triple raise. Ooh, mama. Walk into that one. Dendi will secure the room, but Arteezy happily will take the kill. Yes, yes, Top tower Brood, has fallen. Full 70 movements speak inside the web with a huge spidling army. The lane, yeah. in coil, onto Arteezy. Funix there, a lot of follow-up damage. TP's on the way in. Artor will live for now. Funix wants to find the kill, but the tower chopping him down. They do That's manage to bring down the Shadow Fiend. Puck gets off that last hit. Still a one for one. S4 trying to get aggressive here. And we'll be forced back as well. There's another nuke in three seconds. Zyke can chase, but yeah, worried about it anymore. anymore. What has Warlock done? Oh, down bottom. Funnick and Arteezy going blow for blow. Arteezy with the Shadow Raise is another kill coming out for Secret. It's just not It's not even about team fights. It's just little skirmishes around the map. Navi are just losing these 1v1s. Right, Navi actually get a good gank there. They get about a 1,400 net worth trade out of that. So little pickoffs like that will slowly get them back into this game. But now Dendi, hex on him, finger on the van score. Perfectly played by Kuroki. Knew the limits, knew Artor could get the kill on Puck. And they'll do it Dyer's in style there. They ping out Go Black. They want this one, gods. Blink forward. There's the stun. Artor sets it up with a shadow raise. Good night. Sweet Go Black. Dyer's Ten minute blink on Kuro. This guy is his Dyer's bottom out. tower is there. under attack. Oh, a skirmish could break out up top, and that's an Omni Slash to bring down the Broodmother. Now the rest of the fight breaks oh. out. Go Black gets hit by the Spirit Bomb, and they'll trade one for one here in different locations. The Chaotic Offering for Go Black. Speaking of which, he's yeah. put out mid lane. Mid lane, lane. The Spirit Bomb, one hit KO. Side. Now down bottom, another final breakout. Havos, it'll get turned into a little fishy. But Kuroki, nice stun on two, yeah. TP's coming in, finger on Havost, S4, with the Berserkers call on Vanscore, just Radiant's taking tower, tower shots, tower it'll be attack. Havost trying to run for it, they get the kill on Venge, no surprise on that one, can Havost make it out though? There's a blink on the SS, he's but you TP, can, uh, whoa, they miss all the spells, cute little spot there from Havost, it'll actually yeah. ensure his survival. I don't think they gods, the final fight for Na'Vi, can they make the whole, whoa, chaotic offering to get it started, Dendi goes for Arteezy. But what's the follow-up here? Arteezy may well go down. Remember, he's the Aegis carrier. They're doing everything they can to keep him up. Puppy will use the ultimate. The all-heal flies through. As four now taking a lot of damage. As Omni Slash comes out. But Arteezy lives through it with the Yules. A lot of damage. Still no kills onto the Dire. Finally, Funic falls. Secret moving closer to the well. Go Black turning into a little fish as Van Score takes the finger. Now the Earth Spike on the Go Black. A buyback from Axe of all heroes. As four, he's sad watching his team get all the kills. He wants some of the action too. Unfortunately for him, not going to be able to make it back in time. Can't oh, afford the or does not have DOT. And uh, that'll be it. Radiant GG from Victory. Navi as Secret take another dominant win. They've had yeah two very one-sided games. Big God as well as Navi, two of the opponents you wouldn't consider like the top top three contenders necessarily coming no. in, but still very teams that can always battle it out with the T1 teams. Navi in the past, yeah. especially Big God.